University for the semester. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. And um, we were really learning about what really was happening in Russia, and we had been calling and calling and calling and lobbying at the embassy in Tel Aviv. And when we heard that he was coming, we took a bus to Ben Gurion, and we waited. We made signs, and we waited there. And when he came off the plane, it was um, it was like a renewal of what it means to be Jewish. And for all the complaining I did in Hebrew school. <laughs> And, and not appreciating how lucky and what a privilege it is for me to have to be a free Jew. It was an incredibly moving experience. And the following day, I was on the cover of the Jerusalem Post <laughs> holding up my sign, and I meant to bring it here to you, but I was too busy. So, <laughs> and then I met... Well, I came. I, you came. Yeah, yeah. And then um, a couple years later, he uh, Natan came to Chicago, and he signed my book. And I told him how grateful I was that he really changed me in a way. By the way, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> very moving. Uh, uh, by the way, the woman, uh, my name Pim Cohen. Yeah. She was uh, like a woman campaign and uh, campaign for Soviet Jewry in Chicago. And she, in, in your town, of course, and she made career and she lives now here. <laughs> and lots of uh, activists who is take very active uh, help with the, this, all this war, our war, our Jewish war, uh, live now here. And uh, yeah. But uh, you, you see, I'm crying all the time when I talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Questions, maybe?